This is for you. Hey, welcome weeks. to another, episode of, another episode of BeGodDoors.com. On my continuing open Given shot tutorial series aim, today, I'm going to be showing you how to do this picture in picture effect. Now, this is an effect so that I think a lot of people the right are hand very side, familiar with, so especially if they're watching side, television they where they have a main sides. video or okay. a picture. And then Look they have another half, video picture within it, so you can see it right here. I have two different videos with a smaller minus, one within the video I that I actually have. Okay, so in the new version of OpenShot, there are a few ways that you can do this. Whereas in the older version, there's primarily one way. Okay, so I'm going to show that to you right now. So let's go ahead and start at the beginning. So the first thing you want to do is choose the actual video clip that you want to be the main clip. In Which this is case, I want this one. So I have that at the bottom. And then you choose the other one that you want as the smaller picture in picture. So I have this up here. So right now, as you can see, this one is actually full size. So obviously, it's not a picture in picture. So you can't even see the one underneath. So here are a couple ways that you can adjust this right away. The first thing is there are some predefined layouts within OpenShot to do this, which is great. So the first thing you want to do is right click on the clip that you actually want to adjust. And if you see here, there is layout and there are some predefined layouts. And so let's go ahead and do the top right because that's the one that a lot of people like to use. And as you can see there, it's already automatically adjusted the size of the video and also repositioned it to the top right for you. Okay, so that's one way. So another way, which is, I think, a really awesome thing that they included, is the ability for you to quickly transform this to the actual position and size that you want. Okay, so let me show you what that means. So if you right click on the property and you go to transform, here you have a lot of manual controls. Okay, you can actually easily adjust the size and then adjust the position really quickly. Okay, now it's not a 100% correct dimensions, but at least here you can easily adjust things and move them without a having to do a lot of technical things. So if you press play here, see, it's already been moved squared on and repositioned to where exactly where I want it. Okay. Now, the one thing that you want to be sure when you do this is you want to do it at the beginning of the entire clip. So it's the same size and position. So make sure that you have this right here. Jump to the start whenever you're doing that so it does it for the entire clip. Okay. So the last way that you could do it is the manual way. Uh, this is how it was done before. So let's delete this and let's bring this back down. 